We are back on the cutting edge of societal evolution. This is Ed in Greenville, New York. As we go back to the phones, Ed, great to have you. Hi. Thank you, Rush. Good afternoon. Uh, what Ted Cruz is uh, uh, describing really amounts to nothing more than community policing in, in uh, Muslim neighborhoods. Uh, you know, you look at what happened in San Bernardino. There were investigations into the mosques there, and Obama terminated the investigation. And it would have maybe uncovered this, this plot against uh, these people in, in San Bernardino. So I don't understand how he thinks that he can somehow fight radical Islam without addressing the fact that there is radical Islam. Well, see, I, that's that's, uh, but I know that's the point here. Uh, they're fighting radical Islam. Uh, he won't even say it exists. I mean, this is one of Ted Cruz's points that Obama will not even use those words. And there have been drive-bys interviewing Cruz, you know, all snooty. Well, what is that matter? What does it matter what you call him? And Cruz says, it's, it matters everything. What you call if, you, if you're not going to properly frame who it is perpetrating these acts of terror, there's no way you're going to adequately target them in trying to wipe them out. It's, folks, there's, it, it's, it's, it's really strange. Radical Islamic terrorists are radical Islamists. And yet, saying that is considered to be insulting, prejudiced, discriminatory, and worse, anybody who makes reference, as I just did, somebody comes down on them, leans on him real hard, like is happening to Ted Cruz. But the callers, community policing has long been a standard operating procedure. Meanwhile, Trump is out. The Politico, Trump torture could have prevented Brussels attacks. Now stop and think of this. Everybody's so worked up over what Cruz said about cops in Muslim neighborhoods that nobody's gotten around to Trump's pro-torture comment yet.